What's up, everyone? Welcome to Interactive English. My name is Wes, and what this channel is all about is just helping you guys practice and improve your English skills. That's why you're here, and that's what we're going to help you do. And today we have a special grammar lesson for you. I'm going to talk about something, and we are going to practice it as well, and that is adjective word order. This is something that is very useful and it's very important because we use adjectives all the time when we're speaking, when we're writing, and you're also going to hear them quite often when you're listening or reading. So I want to take a moment to, to give a quick shout out to those who are with me right now. Um, hello, uh, Ratria, Israel, Lali, Lata, Ryan, welcome, Gosiad, good to see you, uh, Baktran, Didem, Saba, thank you, thank you for joining me. And get ready, because what I want you guys to do, I want you guys to practice using adjectives today. If you're with me now, or even if you're watching this later, I want you to use the comment section as though it's a piece of paper and practice using these adjectives. So first off, let's start with uh, the benefits, okay? What, what is the reason for even having this lesson and, and doing this discussion? What are benefits of learning adjective word order? As I said, we use adjectives when we want to be descriptive, all right? It's going to help you use more precise language so that you can put a picture in your mind. Or if you're speaking, you're going to help that other person put a picture in their mind so they will know exactly what you're saying. And, and again, if you're using more than one adjective, if you're using two adjectives, three adjectives, even four adjectives, they need to be in the right order. And again, if you know that order and you can use those adjectives, then you're really going to be able to say exactly what you want to say. And, and again, these are colorful words. And this is what makes uh, you know, speaking, this is what makes people so effective when they're speaking. If they can use adjectives correctly and they can use them effectively, or even in writing, when you're reading a story and you just think to yourself, oh my gosh, this person said this so incredibly well and, and they just use the right words and they use the right adjectives to really express a feeling or express an event or a situation. So it is so useful to be able to use adjectives and you need to use them in the correct order. The other re reason, the other benefit is that you will eliminate the risk of sounding awkward. Because for example, I could just tell you, okay, I have a new, I have a new blue shirt, okay? You understand what I'm saying. If I say, well, I have a blue new shirt, I'm also going to understand that, but it just sounds a little awkward. And this goes back to your fluency level. If you want to be fluent in English, it, it, then this is what you need to do. You need to get this order down and you need to get it correct so that you don't sound awkward when you're having a conversation and you're using adjectives to describe something. So then the next logical question, these are the reasons why you should be aware of an adjective word order if you're using more than one adjective. The best, now you're probably wondering, okay, well, how should we learn this order? How, how do we go about learning this so that we can improve our fluency skills? The number one way to do that right there, the number one way, the best way, the absolute best way is with reading and listening. I'm also going to throw in, I didn't put it up there, but I would also say practicing as well. And that's what we're going to do in today's lesson. We're going to talk about it, but we are going to practice writing some sentences using different adjectives. But the best way to learn it is, is just by more reading, if you're reading an article, if you're reading a book, or just listening. You might be listening to a podcast, you might be listening to another conversation or a song, and people will just start using these adjectives, and it's just gonna seep into your brain. And then when you go to make produce the language, when you start speaking or you start writing, you will naturally begin to use these adjectives in the correct order. Now, well, I'll show you what I get to in just a moment, all right? We're gonna get to the rules and kind of talk about that. But the best way to learn it is just more reading, more listening. It's good to be aware of the order and the rules, but reading, listening, and practicing, those are just the best way best ways to really feel comfortable with the adjective word order so that you can use as many adjectives as you want when you are speaking or writing. The next advice that I would give you is this, and I rarely say this to English learners or students in general, 
is if you're having a conversation and you want to use different adjectives, but you know, you're, you're unsure. I mean, again, go ahead and use them and just think about what feels right. Do what feels right. Because again, we're going to talk about the order today, but if you're having a conversation or even if you're writing a, an email, you're not going to stop and think about, okay, you know, wh which adjective comes first? Blue, new, like what, what's going on? You're just going to say them. And, and that's what I would encourage you to do is just keep practicing. And the more you listen, the more you read, you're automatically going to correct that order on your own. So in that case, because of that, I would always encourage you just do what feels right. You know, what, what, what sounds right when you say the sentence to yourself? What sounds right? Because most of the time that is going to be correct because you've already been exposed to the correct order through reading and through listening. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the rules. Somebody had asked about uh, mentioning the rules for adjective word order. So down below me, you can see um, I, I've, I've put them based on category and I've got this there. Basically, it's it's pretty much accepted. I was using um, Cambridge. I looked at what they said, Oxford, uh, Woodward English, and I've included quite a few of them. Most of the time, they'll just put down like maybe six or eight topics and try to learn. I put down quite a few and I will go through them quickly. But again, this this chart right here is not something I think it, it does a lot of good to sit at home and try to study. The best way, again, is just reading, listening, and what we're going to do today is practice. So again, the first one right down here, we're, whoop, we're gonna start right, yes, on this side right here, all right? The first adjective that you would find if you're talking would be quantity. If you're talking about, for example, some, all right? Some shirts, many shirts, or even if you're talking about a number, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right? That is going to be the first adjective that you're going to use in the order. The next one would be an opinion. And I've put down below some examples so that you can see. For example, if you're talking about opinion, something is delicious. Something is um, maybe amazing, all right? So whatever your opinion is, that would be the next order. Then we're talking about size, big, little, small, shape. Again, these are, are, no, quality would be next. The way something, for example, if something is thin, if something is thick, maybe something is rough. We're talking about the physical quality of uh, a noun because that's what adjectives are typically describing. After quality, after physical quality, you talk about shape, um, round, square, oval, and then condition. Is something clean? Is it dirty? Is it messy? Then after that, age, you could say something is old, something is new, something is ancient, if it's very old. Color, again, you guys know this, blue, green, red, blue, uh, yellow, uh, the colors would come next. Origin, origin is talking about like a country, like where was something made? If something is um, American or Brazilian or French or Chinese, that would come next. Finally, we're talking about the material, for example, a shirt might be a cotton shirt, a plaid shirt, a silk shirt. And then finally, the purpose. What is the purpose of this noun? Um, so I, I gave you this uh, order right there. I said, so in that natural order, a delicious big round wedding cake. That would be the correct order of those adjectives. Now, most of the time I think it's good to use, it's, it's always good to use adjectives. I think it's great to use two adjectives. Oftentimes it's, you'll find it's very common to use three. The more adjectives you start to throw on there, it could sound a little awkward. So there's not really a situation that you would say, delicious, big, round, wedding, cake. That, that's a little too much. This was just as a reference for all of you guys. So that is the word order. You have opinion, size, shape, uh, and purpose. B delicious, big, round, wedding, cake. The next one, okay? Two dirty, old, blue, cotton shirts. So again, this time we're using five adjectives, two dirty old blue cotton shirts. We're using quantity, condition, age, color, material, and then our noun, okay? So this is the word order. It's something, it's just for your reference. It's not something I would recommend, okay, take a lot of time and study this. This is just for you to refer to, um, especially maybe if you're writing, you could take some time and look, okay, what is the order? What is the correct order? But again, reading, listening, those are the best ways to learn this order and really know it and understand it. So 
Let's look at, before we jump into the practice, I wanted to let you guys know, again, if you really want to connect with us, I recommend you join our email list. There's a lot of cool benefits. You can access the Secret Fluency lesson. We will send you some useful and free resources, and you'll get the latest updates about what is happening here at Interactive English, because we got a lot planned for the future, like our online courses, and we might throw out some discounts for those who are, who are on our email list. So a link is in the description below. Check that out and join the list and connect with us, because we want to connect with all of you. So the way we're going to do this is we're gonna start with an easy practice and it's going to be a more controlled practice and I'm gonna give you the adjectives and I just want you to put it in order. And then as we go through this, it's going to work towards a more freer practice in which I want you guys to write sentences in the, co in the chat, all right? And even if you're ho at home, I want you guys to write some sentences and, and let me know what you think. And this is a great way to practice using adjectives. So the first question that I have for you is right here, okay? So think of this like, um, again, this is like a sentence. Think of it as somebody's having this conversation and they're saying, ah, oh, it's a mm -mm turtle. I'm giving you the two adjectives down there. Little cute. Okay, which one comes first? What order are you going to put those adjectives in if you're using those two words, little and cute? We're just starting out with two. I want you to write your answer in the chat or write it in the comments if you're watching this later, okay? What do you guys think? It's, it's always good to practice. And don't worry about making mistakes. It doesn't matter. This is just about practicing. This is for your benefit. So if I say, ah, oh, it's a mm-mm turtle. All right, those are the two adjectives. I see some <laughs> great answers. Yes, uh, Gosia, Anasim, Dariel, uh, Allah, Ratria, excellent. Yes, so if we're talking about, I say, ah, oh, it's a cute little turtle. <clears throat> it's cute, I'm giving my opinion, okay? It's a cute little turtle. You go with opinion first and then size. If I wanted to say another opinion like, <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. I'm thinking of the word delicious. But again, that would be another opinion. I say, oh, it's a delicious little turtle. Or again, if I'm using color, that would also come later. All right. It's a cute green turtle. Or again, color would come after size. I would say, oh, it's a little green turtle. So again, that is how you would use it. In this case, we're using opinion over size. So the next one. All right. Let's look at this one. This is a little more challenging because now we have three. Look at my mm, mm, mm box, okay? Those are the three adjectives that I want you to use. Brown, big, and square, okay? Brown, big, and square. Look at my mm, mm, mm box, okay? What do you guys think? I want you guys to write your answers down, okay? So, just to let you know, we're talking about brown, okay? Color, big, size, square is shape, all right? I'm giving you, <laughs> I'm giving you those items that they're listed under. What do you guys think? All right, look at my mm, mm, mm box. All right, so this one, okay, I was going to say, this one's a little, a little trickier, especially because of it's a little trickier, especially because the shape and the color. And I can understand how these would be confused, all right? But remember, if we're looking back on our list um, right here, all right, we're talking about uh, color, size, and shape, okay? So we're going to use size first, shape, and then color, which means you're going to say, look at my big square brown box. All right, what I would say about this one, because I think this is a lot more challenging because I think, like I said, size is a given. Look at the, look at the big square box. Look at my big brown box, okay? But shape and color, those could be a, a little more challenging and confusing. And I would say, this is just to me, my personal opinion. If you used color before shape, to me, that's not going to sound as awkward. I'm not going to listen to that and be like, hmm, that sounds strange. 
I think that one is one that you could get away with, all right? So I know many of you put big brown square box. So if you put that one to me, again, I'm giving you my personal view as well. I think that that one is acceptable and is not going to sound as awkward as some of the other ones, all right? But if we're following that order, that order of adjectives, look at my big square brown box. All right, the next one, all right, I am going to give you a sentence and I want you to complete it with two adjectives. Choose any adjectives you want. Just try to put them in the correct order. What do you guys think, all right? My mm-mm car is parked out front. And then I'll give you the sentence that I came up with. Um, it's, I just chose one, all right? So what do you think? How would you complete this sentence if you're going to use two adjectives to describe that car? My mm-mm car is parked out front. What do you think? Write, write, your, write your answer, uh, write, write it in the chat. Again, even if you're writing this later, just write, write, use the comment section. It's like a piece of paper. Okay, um, we have on a sim. Yes, my beautiful red car is parked out front. Perfect. All right, Rohan, my expensive red car is parked out front. Yes, you're talking about the condition. Um, K KDJ, my big red car is parked out front. Um, what else do we have? Yes, Carla, my new red car is parked out front. Um, <laughs> we have a lot of excellent. My fast red car, perfect, Alessandro. Yes, those are some great examples. Um, and again, when you guys are able to see each other's examples, like I said, the more you read, the more you listen, that's just going to help you continuously put these adjectives in the correct order. That's what it's all about, reading, listening, practicing. So I just said my, <laughs> my shiny new car is parked out front, okay? Shiny, I'm talking kind of about the the, the physical quality of it, new is the condition, okay? My shiny new car is parked out front. Um, the next one, let's look at this one. Give me some more sentences. Here we go. These mm -mm shoes are my favorite. <laughs> and those are the shoes down below. Those really, those are not my shoes. This is just a, a picture of shoes that I found. But, you know, what, what adjectives would you use to describe those shoes? Again, I'm just asking for two. Because most of the time, I think you're going, when you use adjectives, it's great to use one adjective. It gives it more, uh, gives it a description. You can describe it even more with two adjectives, and I think it's very common for people to use two adjectives to describe nouns, whether you're talking about shoes, cars, um, basically anything. So... What, what would you guys say, all right, uh, to describe those shoes? Let, let me know, okay? Um, all right, uh, Eviano said, my old black shoes are my favorite. Exactly, you're talking about age and then color. Um, Katie J, my smart black shoes are my favorite. Excellent, that's good, I like that. And that's for British English too, saying something is smart in the way it looks, but that is perfect, all right? That's today at my... Uh, casual, if there's casual sneakers, sneakers and shoes are pretty much synonyms, um, but I guess just sneaker shoes, I guess it is, uh, maybe sneaker is a type of shoe, so you could say that, my, my casual sneaker shoes are my favorite, because sneaker would be more of, kind of like, I guess, uh, a purpose, not a purpose, maybe kind of the, the, the type of something, uh, Jane, my dirty old shoes <laughs> are my favorite, I guess, sure, um, my lovely black shoes are my favorite. I guess they do look a little dirty. They're, they're kind of scuffed up. <laughs> you pointed that out. I just said my classic walking shoes are my favorite. Often, I don't know why when I think of shoes, I think companies like to describe them. These are classic. These are classic shoes. And I just gave them a purpose as in walking shoes, even though, I don't know, they don't really look like walking shoes, but you could walk in them. So I said, these classic walking shoes are my favorite. All right. Now we are going to completely open this up, all right? And you guys are going to be able to throw a, a lot of different examples out there. And I, I would just encourage you, try to write, uh, you're gonna have to write a full sentence in this case to describe something because I am going to show you a picture. And the picture is going to have a lot of different things on it. I want you to use some adjectives to describe what you see, 
all right? Try to use more than one. Try to use two. Try to use three if you can, and then I will give you some examples, okay? So <laughs> I've put myself very small down there in the corner, but this is the picture, all right? There's a lot of things that you can describe, a lot of different nouns in this picture that you can describe. So can you, I want you to write a sentence in the chat, write a sentence in the comments, if you're watching this later, and, and give some examples and use some adjectives and try to make sure that you are using them in the correct order, all right? Um, so what do you guys think? What, 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 what's a good sentence with that adjective word order? Okay, so, and, and if you're unsure, again, follow, the, follow my advice at the very beginning. Just do what feels right. What feels right? What sounds right when you're thinking about adjective word order? If you're not sure, just go ahead and put it down. Don't worry about making mistakes, okay? What, what are some sentences that you could put together, all right, uh, that to describe this picture? Um, somebody said, Roberta, American walking. Yeah, that would be work. American walking shoes. Origin, purpose. Um, so we have, there's a luxurious new rectangular laptop. Perfect. Exactly. All right. Um, I like this new t-shirt. Perfect. It is a new shirt. Uh, my Italian leather bag. You have origin and then uh, material. Okay. The Italian leather bag. Perfect. Uh, my favorite black watch, excellent. Uh, you're giving your opinion. Uh, my favorite black watch. I have a brown leather bag, excellent, Saba. Great, great example. Okay, brown leather bag. Um, my old, <laughs> my old black broken watch. Uh, in this case, I would say again, broken is often used as a participle adjective, which means it follows the verb to be. So oftentimes um, you, you would use it, so you'd say like, um, my, my old black watch is broken. So in that case, you still have three adjectives in the sentence, but they wouldn't all come before the noun. Um, <laughs> I hate that little black phone. Sure, yes. Size and then color, all right? Um, what else do we have? All right, do you guys have any more sentences? I see a big white cotton shirt, perfect. Size, color, material. A big white cotton shirt, great example, Lali. So here are some examples that I put down. Again, these are just four, I say, you know, I just bought this sleek, thin mobile phone. So again, um, I'm talking about um, something is sleek, that's my opinion. Oftentimes we talk about electronics, they use the word sleek, it looks cool, it looks sharp. Thin is the physical, the physical uh, quality, sleek, thin, mobile phone. Even though mobile phones consider it now, mobile is an adjective, it is the purpose, so that one has three. Um, I said there are also, there are two round black camera cases on the table. And I tried to think of sentences that are gonna sound a little more natural, even though there are a lot of adjectives there. So two round black camera, those are all adjectives, all right? I took quantity, shape, color, purpose, all right? Two round black camera cases on the table. Um, the next one, my trusty, old, my trusty old brown travel bag never lets me down. My trusty old tra brown travel bag never lets me down, okay? Trusty old brown travel bag. Travel bag is purpose. So again, I think it's very, when you include a purpose, it's very easy to throw some other adjectives on there um, because oftentimes that purpose and that noun, they really kind of meld together, all right? A travel bag, camera case. Um, Actually, those are camera, now I'm just noticing, those aren't camera cases, those are camera lenses, all right? I know some people will probably say some stuff in the chat later on, camera lenses. And then that last one, this is a new limited edition men's magazine, okay? These are different examples of some adjectives. Adjectives used in sentences, let's practice, let's do another one. All right, here is your picture. I tried to put myself out of the way. There, there's a lot going on in this picture. So again, I want you to, to write some sentences, all right? Try to use two or more adjectives. Use as many as you can, but again, just, just don't try to force it. Try to think of a sentence that, that would come naturally to you. When you're looking at this picture and you see something, you're like, okay, I want to describe this thing. 
You have a lot of, it looks like there's a lot of candy in there. There's some bottles up above me. There's some lighters over here. Um, you have some chewing gum and other candy. There's some beer in the fridge. It looks like there's some nuts on the table. So what, what kind of sentences would you use? What adjectives could you use to describe this picture? All right. What do you guys think? Write those in the chat. Write those in the comments. It's all good practice. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. You could say for, you have, there is a cold black bottle. Sure. Exactly. Perfect. Um, a cold black bottle of beer. Uh, <laughs> so what are, what are some sentences that we could use? And then I will share some of my sentences. So you can see they, this, some sentences that I came up with when looking at this picture. Again, just, just write what feels natural. Don't, don't worry too much about, okay, okay. Just, just write what comes natural. All right. So we got some sentences. Um, I got a chilled beer bottle. Okay. Chilled. All right. It's describing the condition. It is a beer bottle. All right. Beer would be the purpose. All right. It is a chilled beer bottle. Um, <laughs> yummy yellow candy, your opinion, the color, and then the noun. Perfect. I see a cold, dark beer. Yes, I see a cold, dark beer too. Uh, delicious fresh beer. All right. A lot of, a lot of beer stuff. I guess that is the more, that is the clearest part of this picture. Um, four big, I see bottles of beer. Excellent. Gabby, thanks for sharing with us. Um, everything seems so delicious and fresh. Perfect. Uh, so you have some wonderful, delicious candies. All right. So, uh, again, that is perfect. Uh, usually buy some spicy snacks. All right. Describing the snacks. So excellent. Ratia, you're giving the quantity, some spicy their um, your opinion and then snacks, spicy snacks on the weekends come at a small store near my house. Perfect. Uh, let's see. There is a cold bottle. There is a plethora of ancient round white peanuts. I like it. Yes. Perfect. All right. I like that word ancient used to describe the age. Um, so let's look at, here's some examples that I just put down. Okay. So we'll start above. These smooth colored lighters are on sale. Okay. Smooth colored lighters. Smooth. I'm talking about that physical quality and then the color. Uh, down below me, there are several unhealthy snacks behind the counter. All right. Two adjectives, several and unhealthy, several unhealthy snacks. My sentence about the beer, try a smooth ice cold Brazilian beer. So again, smooth. I think people might use it to try and describe a cold beverage, ice cold Brazilian beer. I think that's I think that's a Brahma, unless you guys want to, can correct me. I think Brahma is a Brazilian beer. Um, I think so. So, and then that bottom one, the store is trying to sell these old, dirty Canadian peanuts. Again, I wanted to throw an origin in there. I have no idea if those peanuts are from Canada, but it really doesn't matter. It's all about practicing. All right. Practice, 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 practice. The store is trying to sell these old, dirty Canadian peanuts. All right. So again, with adjective word order, it is good to use things as a reference like this. And I showed you before that you have this order of quality, quantity, opinion, size, quality, shape, condition, age, color, origin, material, purpose. All right. This is the order that you're going to follow. But again, the absolute best way to learn this order is to learn it naturally. And the way that you're going to learn it naturally is with reading and listening. Because if you were to ask most native English speakers about making a list and trying to order the adjectives in order, people are going to find it difficult because as native English speakers, you know, we don't think about this. We grew up with this information and we were exposed to it, reading and listening. And then as we got older, the rules just become natural. All right. We don't sit there and study these lists of like, okay, this is the order. It's all about reading. It's all about listening and getting that exposure. That is the best way to learn information like this. And again, that's why I say, if you're unsure of what to do, just do what feels right. Okay. Do what, what you think comes naturally. So 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this lesson and enjoyed pr practicing this adjective word order. If you did, please like, hit that like button, smash that like button, actually share this lesson with your friends, anybody else you know who is trying to practice and improve their English skills. We want them to become a part of our community. And you guys can always write to us in the comments. We love hearing from you guys. So please hit us up down there and you can check us out on social media. That is a lot. Uh, those are a lot of call to actions that I just gave you. So thank you for joining me. Thank you, Gosia, Shaquille, um, Hikran, Carla, Onesim. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lolly. It's great to see so many people here today. And we will be back next time with another lesson. Thanks for joining us and I will see you next time.